of the four uh, Indiana cities that you regularly play in, being uh, Indianapolis and my hometown of Evansville and Terre Haute and Fort Wayne, uh, which holds the fondest memories? Well, you got to remember that the Kids Army started in Terre Haute, Indiana. And, and Terre Haute was the place the Kids Army started because there was a radio station there that wouldn't play Kiss. And a big, big friend and fan of ours, and he's here tonight. Where is he right now? Here. Yeah. This is Bill Tharkey. He started yeah. the Kiss Army. He And let me tell you, for any of you people who don't know, what Bill did, Bill, Bill called the radio station and said, if you don't play Kiss, we're going to surround your radio station. And they were going, oh, yeah, bullshit. Well, guess what he did? We sent uh, threatening letters um, all the time to the radio station. It was amazing that the program director was, was such a jerk. Um, he even uh, destroyed the albums that were originally sent to him from Casablanca, and we had to send our albums to the radio station to coerce them. Here they are, uh, you know, dub them off, whatever, and just play the music. They wouldn't even do that. And this was an ongoing process that happened uh, from July 75 until November. And uh, at that time, the, it was announced that the, the KISS was going to come to Terre Haute, and uh, the disc jockey that uh, I was going back and forth with, he came up with an idea. He said, well, why don't you just write your KISS letters uh, every day? We call it the KISS Army Letter of the Day. And we would do this up until the arrival of the band. And uh, we did it. And uh, the concert sold out. At that time in Terre Haute, the only other band that sold out was Elvis Presley. It this is, this is honest to God's truth. We had the Eagles, we had the Doobie Brothers, we had Chicago, we had all these bands that were getting airplay that KISS wasn't getting. Then all of a sudden, KISS with maybe two or three months airplay from August to October sold out. And when KISS's management found out about it, they said, they were kind of curious and said, well, what did you guys do different that, you know, you didn't sell out for the other acts? And uh, the, the pro, the uh, concert promoter said, well, there's this kid, this 18-year-old kid who's writing letters, calling and saying that uh, he wanted to kiss music on, on the radio, and he had a few other people behind him, and they called themselves the Kiss Army. Well, I guess the coin was, was, was impressed with that, and that's the way things went. There's the man right there. So we have, I mean, we have great memories from Indianapolis, obviously. We have great memories from all the cities. Mm -hmm. Terre Haute for us has always been special because we heard about the Kiss Army from the radio station saying, you, you got to pick up on this. There's a bunch of maniacs down here who are willing to do anything for you guys. And we went, guess what? Those are Kiss fans, man, and that's what you are. <laughs> 